The early morning storms we saw that ripped through the area this morning left damage behind in several places, including Calhoun County. Our Victoria Bailey joins us in the studio after spending the day with one family there. Victoria? That's right, Andrea. Walking through the damage with folks impacted by the storm, I saw snapped trees, damaged homes, and downed power lines. And residents tell me it happened in a matter of seconds. This happened about 3.45 this morning. We woke up with wind just howling, and we could hear something roaring over the top of the house. Miss June Sturdivant says when Thursday morning storm rolled in, they jumped into action. Well, it happened so fast. We didn't have really in time to do anything. I jumped up and ran to the back door and got my dogs in the house out of it. It was scary. It was fast. And, of course, you couldn't see anything. You could just hear it popping. The storm blew out windows of the Sturdivant's home of 50 years, snapped almost every tree in the yard, damaged part of the porch, and even blew their chicken coop down on top of this little guy. Just down the road at the Sturdivant's son in law's house, the damage was much worse. Oh, the trees were down on the house, so we're going the whole back of the house has to be redone because we had those two large ones. Uh, my wife's new explorer had two trees down on it. So that's probably going to be a, another vehicle. Uh, I had a little bit of damage on mine. Uh, the car shed was picked up, moved it about six feet. And then, uh, as you can see by the root balls, we had like six large oak trees been down there for probably about 120 years. The family says they are thankful no one was hurt. We'll pitch a tent. We, it, it don't, only thing is, I just had the yard ready for winter, you know. It was, it was clean, and so now... You go out and I'm starting all over. From now on, we won't have any trees in the yard, so we won't have to worry about trees blowing down on our house. Now, if your home was damaged by the storm last night, you are welcome to report it to the Calhoun County EMA office. Andrea.